बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आप सभी का गेम्स एंड गेम्स मीडिया में एंड टुडे वी गोन बी डूइंग अ रिव्यू ऑन अ प्रोडक्ट दैट इज एवो मीडिया लाइव गेमर फोर्टेबल टू सो द न्यू ईयर इज आल्सो कमिंग द थिंग आई वांट टू कवर बिफोर द एंड ऑफ दिस ईयर इज रिव्यूइंग दिस प्रोडक्ट आई रिसीव्ड फ्रॉम एवो मीडिया इट्स नियरली सरप्राइजिंग दैट देयर आर ओनली फ्यू वीडियो गेम कैप्चर कार्ड्स ब्रांड्स इन द मार्केट मेजॉरिटी ऑफ द स्ट्रीमर्स आर यूजिंग एलगाडो बट द अदर वर्ल्ड क्राफ्टेड ब्रांड दैट इज इंक्रीजिंगली बिकमिंग मोर पॉपुलर ड्यू टू इट्स ईज ऑफ यूज एंड its feature is ever media this week we have laid down our hands on ever media live gamer portable which is the company's latest capture card The best part of this recording device is it's entirely PC free. In fact, this is the only product in the market that can be used without a PC. Well, it also has an inbuilt support for H.264 codec, which is the most commonly used codec on the web. You can record high quality video with a lower file size. While it's a PC free, it can also record your footage in 1080p with 60 frames per second. That means it can record straight to a micro SD card without having to be played in a PC at 1080p 60 frames per second. Other than that, well thanks to headset input jack on the front, the user can easily inject commentary over their gameplay. The LG P2 can also record the party chat on a console game. Talking about the software, it's not only work on its own software that is ReCentral 3, but also supports XSplit and OBS. Flawlessly, people who have used other capture card, well, definitely we are talking about Elgato, would really be amazed as there are no hassle of trying to find the latest drivers for the device to play nice. It has a dedicated start and stop features, making the recording so simple. Let's say you are at a friend's place and wants to record different bit of gameplay footage. All you have to do is. Plug in the USB 2.0 wire either with the power cable or on a PC, and second thing, connect your middle HDMI with the PS4, and the last one that is HDMI out with the TV screen. Now, after you place the wires, insert the micro SD card into the micro SD card slot. Now, once you are done with it, next thing you're gonna do is change the mode into PC free, and then after it is time to press the blue button and change it into the red. 
The red means the recording and the blue means it stopped. Now let me tell you the PC free mode records at 1080p 60 frame per second 20 mbps. Next thing when you are done with your recording all you have to do is press the red button again and then the recording will be stopped. Once your recording is done change the PC free mode into memory card mode and then the memory card will appear on the PC. If you haven't connect your USB power cable with the PC all you can do is connect the power cable with the PC and then retry the same procedure again that is PC free mode to memory card mode and then memory card will appear and now after you can open the memory card and check your recorded gameplay. LGP2 is one of the best options available in the market thanks to its plug and play ability and one button recording system. The biggest selling point being it's easy to use without even sacrificing the quality of a gameplay. Now, it is time to talk about live streaming. So the first thing you're gonna have to do is to click on the live stream portion and then in a streaming platform, click on the plus icon. Then you can select the platform that is Twitch or YouTube Live and click next. Then the pop-up screen will appear in which you have to fill your Google account. Once you fill your Google account, you can select your account on which you have to stream. So now you can set the setting at edit streaming profile and you can give the title name as the name of a game so I have set the Rocket League now the main thing is you have to set the video at public in a in that edit section and also for best quality you can select the codec H.264 now you can open the game and also in the scene section you can select the scene of your choice in which you can add your webcam your profile the text and many more so once you are done all you have to do is to start the live stream and you are set to go. Well, that was all for the review of Everpedia Live Gamer Portable. And I hope you find it very much informative. If you're a new live streamer on YouTube, on Twitch, or maybe a YouTuber, then definitely this is the device for you. And if anything by chance is left, just let me know. I will try to figure out and answer it. And also, and also comment down below with the hashtag GGM. I will see that who has watched this video fully. And also don't forget to check out my social links where I upload exclusive content. Of course I do that. So links are in the description down below. Thank you for watching. I hopefully think that you have enjoyed it. And if you do, please make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe the red color button down below. In the meanwhile, give me some more time to make another video, another pack of action. And I hope to see you many in the next one.